Hi, I'm Anthony Carroll. It's been my pleasure to be a member of the Senior Study Group on Critical Minerals for here at the U.S. Institute of Peace. The Libido Corridor is a bold effort to refurbish and construct a rail line from the Port of Libido to the Angola-Zambian border with an onward 400 kilometers of railroad construction into the Democratic Republic of Congo, ending at Kolwezi, one of the largest mining deposits in the world. There are many multiple opportunities that the Libido Corridor presents. First of all, it will speed access to critical minerals for the European and U.S. markets, which have been largely dominated by China in the last 20 years. It'll also give more value to the Africans in terms of the return that they'll enjoy for an enhanced uh, infrastructure investment and development that might find its way into other sectors of the economy. And it's a bold multi-country uh, agreement that will part allow partnerships to evolve between many of the European countries that are supporting of it, the United States, and the African countries, both the countries that are directly impacted, but even more broadly across Southern and Central Africa. Whilst the opportunities are great, there are many challenges ahead. Uh, first of all, um, there is a trend in Africa to ban the export of raw, unprocessed minerals. Uh, that, of course, would mean that there will be less bulk to transport across the railroad, uh, and that might affect the economics of the railroad. Secondly, the Chinese have noted uh, the construction or the project, the Libido Corridor project, and are they themselves uh, refurbishing the Tanzara Railroad, which runs from Zambia into Tanzania, which is a project that dates from the 1960s. And then lastly, uh, these mar commodity markets change. Uh, the demand for lithium, the demand for graphite, the demand for cobalt are uh, very cyclical, and they might be affecting the demand for these materials outside. I think the one product that remains the sort of steady, stable product among all those minerals is copper. That seems to be the universal donor among all the critical minerals, and large copper deposits exist in Zambia and the DRC. So there will always be a certain amount of throughput for the railroad coming from uh, those countries in copper.